Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I've got another Scrap It video. So this is an idea on how to use some of your scraps to make nice cards. So this was a scalloped pattern that I done during a Facebook Live and it's been really popular. Lots of people have been sharing their versions over on the Facebook group and it's just a great way to use up those scraps. So we'll get straight into the video. So I've got a five by seven card blank. You can do this on any size. Now I do have a one inch punch here. This one's from Hobbycraft. You can pick these up, you know, from most um, craft stores and lots of different craft companies have their own, own ones as well. This made it um, quite easy for me to be able to kind of lay this all out, but any size will work. Once you see how you put it together, it's very straightforward. And if you don't have a punch, you've got a circle dies or nester dies, you can use those as well. Okay, so I've got a few there, but I'm gonna punch some more out in the black color here. So I always take the bases off of my punches just so I can really see where I'm, you know, punching. And um, I just, yeah, that's just how I've always done it. I know that's not gonna be for everyone, but I um, I do like it this way. And you can see that I'm really not wasting any of that paper. And I can cut that little bit away in the middle. And then I should be able to still get one more out of that. So, you know, you really do get to use up your scraps with this one, so I've got some more. Um, darker ones there and I'm going to take some more of the lighter ones. Okay, just done some more of that one. And whenever I have scraps I always trim off the bits that you're not going to use and then put them back into your scrap because that's now a perfect trim for a project that I might have in the future. Just keeps everything neat and then that will go into the, the waste or recycling. Okay, so I think I've got enough there now. So I'm going to use my liquid glue here because it just gives you time to be able to move things around. So on this one, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. So I'm going to stick with the same again. So along the bottom here, I'm just going to pop kind of just a few blobs of glue like so. You don't have to do it that way. You can put the glue onto the backs of these, which is what I did during the live, but I'm just gonna do it this way just for a bit of speed. Now I'm gonna start off at the first one kind of overhanging the card, and then I'm just gonna line up all the others with the bottom of the card. I'm just gonna stick with all green here. Now, like I said, because these are one inch, I've got half an inch overhanging this end, and then over half an inch overhanging the other end there, okay? Then I'm gonna go for a lighter color and I'm gonna pop my blob of glue now in the middle of where the ones below all join. And then you want to, the bottom of your circle, well, yeah, yeah, because there isn't really a top or a bottom, but you know what I mean. You wanna make sure that that, you want it to sit just where the bottom ones join, okay? And then I'm gonna line that up right with the edge of this card. And then again, I'm just gonna pop that one there. One. If you use a liquid glue, it is quick as well because it just you've got that time to wiggle it around, kind of move them, just make sure they're all sitting, make sure each one sits right where that join is, and that will ensure you keep it straight. Otherwise, you'll start going that way. I think I started to drift a little bit with that one, but I managed to bring it back. And then again, I'm putting a bit of glue there, like so, and I'm going to come in back again with the darker ones and you just keep doing this until you've finished. You might want to cover the whole cardstock front if you want. Like I said I'm just going to do the same eight rows um, as I did on that other one because I do like that. Again I'll put a little bit more glue there and you'll trim it all at the end. So I'm just going to I'm doing a little bit here, just hold it up, and make sure that they are. I need to bring that one down. Yeah, that looks okay. And then I'm gonna go and do the next one. So I'm just gonna carry on doing this. Okay, so they're all stuck down. So now I'm gonna stick down this strip here, which is half an inch by you know, whatever the width is of your card. So mine's just over five because I'm gonna trim it when I put it on. I was saying during the live, this reminds me of a skirt I used to have and um, it was bright pink and it had a waistband and then it had all scalloped little silk discs that hung down and it was beautiful and there was a dress version of it as well. 
which I think my sister may have had and um, I adored it so it reminds me of that and also I have a piñata bag, gift bag on my channel which um, I was reminded about during the live and I'll link that here actually because if you like this design because I did say if you don't want it so flat you can curl just the edges and it will look like a piñata so it's a really fun effect and that was really bright and colourful um, and that's on my YouTube so I'm just going to let that dry and I'm just going to flip it over open it up and just trim I'm going to use these scissors here just sit your scissors right against the edge and you'll get a really nice go on down a little bit on that one there we go a really nice finish okay and then I'm just going to stamp my sentiment so I've got this thank you which is really old it was from a me to you set I think it was from um, from 2016 but any obviously sentiments will work so I've got thank you so I'm going to sit that one about there, I think. That looks okay. Ink that a couple of times, just so we got a nice crisp image there. And then I'm just going to finish it off with some of the Black Nouveau Drops. So this one here is their Vintage Drops and it is, I think it's just Noir, let me just double check. Oh, it's called Blackboard. So I'm just going to pop, always test it first. So I've got some scrap there, get any air bubbles that may be in there. And I'm just going to pop one there, there, and a little one there, and then do a bigger one there, and there. Okay, and there's the finished card. I'll just bring it up really quick, really easy to do. Any scraps, you can do um, plain scraps as well. You don't have to have pattern paper. You could just do lots of um, you know, different colors. So you could do like rainbow effect. There's just so many lovely ways to do this. I've already enjoyed seeing all of the different versions that people have been sharing on the group because I did share this last week on my Facebook Live. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing other versions that you may share. So thanks for watching. Check out my other scrappy, or I'll put it, it'd be the Scrap It playlist and it'd just be, getting filled up with lots of tutorials just giving you ideas on how to use your scraps so i hope you like this one again and i'll be back very soon with another tutorial thanks for watching bye